We're gonna have some fun. Coming back to True TV for the second season that's on Wednesday nights is a show called Fake Off. Have you ever been flipping the channels and caught it? Oh, it's so entertaining. Well, Harry was a judge last season. He returns as one of the judges, but they've added Lori Ann. Welcome to both of you. And Harry, does uh, Lori Ann provide any normalcy to the show? <laughs> Huh. She brings a uniqueness to the show. I'll tell you that right now. I wouldn't say that normalcy is what I bring. However, you could end up at that word, but an educated, passionate <laughs> opinion. Well, Lorianne, you are indeed a new judge on the show. I can't wait to watch you in action, but how do you describe the show to your friends? A fantastical journey of entertainment that inspires you and wows you and keeps you on the edge of the seat. A future variety show that just makes you believe you can fly. Whoa. Now, Harry, can you follow that? That was quite the poetic answer. How do you describe it? My explanation is a, a fake is a trick or illusion that's incorporated into a theatrical performance. Not as poetic as hers, but it explains it. It is show. poetic. <laughs> well, Lorianne, you have an amazing skill set of dancing, acting, producing. What impresses you most about this show? I think it's it's the fact that it's so cutting edge and that it celebrates classic art forms from puppeteering to acrobats to fantastic dancing to magicians, illusionists, and the art of performance, it's not lost. And they found a way to bring it every week, a Broadway, a Broadway Vegas, Cirque du Soleil, a Grammy performance, you know, to the viewers. It's not just another premeditated vocal competition. It's something about theater that you have to really be gifted and be in the moment that this show captures. Well, I've always been curious, why is the show called Fake Off? Well, I think, you know, with with these shows, there's, there's different things you could say, like, are they mimicking or are, are they just illusionists? And I, I think overall they're more than that. And I think there's a you know there's a bad term of fake, but I think for this it's a good term of fake. Like you want to see a good fake. You want to see these guys interpret uh, a moment in pop culture in, in, in an original way, and, and and that is a fake. Yeah, and for example, like when you see someone flying and they're fighting in the air, and they have a harness and wires, but you don't know that there's wires. So for the people at home, they get educated on how some of these amazing artists do what they do. And that's what a fake is. Mm -hmm. No, they're not really flying, but oh my God, they look like they're flying. Like you cannot tell me they're not yeah. flying. And you've seen it before. Yeah. You've seen it when Michael Jackson was doing the lean and Moonwalker. You know, you've seen these illusions put into uh, these performances. Yeah. And um, I, I think we've seen it over time, but now it's getting to do it in a story within 90 seconds. These guys get to tell a story within the theme they're given, whether it be movies or 80s or sports. And popular culture, so it's not dated, you know? But yet, Peter Pan, you know? You can never, ever not feel the same way if you see Peter Pan fly across the stage, no matter how old you are. Something magical about that. And Fake Off, you can, yeah, you feel that magic. You feel that illusion. You feel that moment where you can actually dip out of reality and just imagine did that coin he just flip and it turned into like gold confetti? Hey, is it possible? Yeah, yeah how? It's a fake. <laughs> how did that happen? Yeah. I'm excited, Lori Ann, to have you as an addition to the show. It sure is entertaining. And Harry, you did a great job. I can't wait to see the interaction between the two of you because already I can see a lot of chemistry. But given your tremendous success, this is to both of you, what advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams given what you've learned on your journey? You know, it's so important to believe beyond anything, what's inside of you, that it will manifest. And if it is in you, then it's meant to come out of you. So it's just imperative that no matter how tough it gets, if you have a dream, not just in entertainment, period. I believe everybody is born with a dream. And I just tell people, do not give up because it's when you give up that it won't happen. And yeah. that's the only reason it wouldn't happen is because you gave up. So don't give up. I believe I, I believe the exact same thing. You know, and, and to add to that, it's uh, 
continue to sharpen your skills. You know, it's it's be a hard worker. And I think when you have a sharp knife, you can cut through anything. And, and in front of you, behind you, around you. And I, I think with those skills, with with what we've done, I think for, for my career is is continued uh, to keep learning. And, and these teams definitely have showed that. And you know, we gave that same advice to them as well. Super advice. Have so much fun on Fake Off Wednesday nights. We can't wait to tune in. Thanks for joining us. Thank Thanks, you, Khan. Khan.